Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Before we get into it, I just wanted to say if you're only here to hear me talk about plyometrics for goalkeepers, fast forward to this time, but by doing that you'll miss a lot of other good content, so I wouldn't encourage it. But if you are, I'll see you there. If not, enjoy the rest of the vlog. Let's get going. Good morning guys, welcome back to another episode of Keeping Goals. Hope you're all well, hope you've had a good week. We're down at the park, training session with Alex and hopefully Matt as well, two of my old mates from high school. Gonna get in a session, a bit of passing, a little bit of shooting, because I know they're gonna wanna have loads of shots. Back to basics, in the park, muddy pitch, try and do as much technical work as we can, but have a little bit of fun as well. If you enjoyed today's vlog, please give it a like, helps us out a lot, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification button, come and join the Keeping Goals Union. This should be good fun, you're gonna enjoy it. Hope it brings you some value. Let's go get a little bit wet and muddy. One, two, two, three, four, three, go, 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 go. Well done, yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, shall we? Oh, it's horrible bubble, last two. Whistle, please. <laughs> oh, that's a great gun. Oh, what a shame! What a shame! What a huge shame! Do you I, want, I don't want to be rash, but I'm going to compare it to Gordon Banks and Pelé. You should refer to yourself as Pelé as well. Yeah, that's the wrong question. <laughs> Try that. We're not placing them anymore. I'm the 
I'm in Paris for you. So a very enjoyable session with Matt and Alex. Hope you like my little Santa advent calendar behind me as well. Only filled with the healthiest of dairy milk chocolates. As I said, a little bit of work on short passing. We also did the first touch box drill that you saw in my last session with Alex, and then a lot of shot stopping work. Me and Matt went to school together from when we were about 11, 12. He was always in the football teams with me, always loved scoring goals. And I haven't actually seen him since we left school, incredibly. So it was very fun to roll back the clock and have a proper old school shooting session in the mud. But I hope it brought you some value, some stuff in there that maybe you guys can work on as well. But right now, I'm gonna talk about a subject that I get a lot of questions, especially on the DMs and Instagram. You probably already know what it is, seeing as you clicked on the title of this video. For those of you that have followed me for a while, you'll hear me talk about plyometric training quite a lot. I even made a goalkeeper plyometric program, which hundreds of you guys have downloaded and are now using in your training routines. But I still get a lot of you sending me questions asking what is plyometric training, why is it important for me as a goalkeeper, how can I add it into my training plan. So this video is for you guys and I'm going to explain all of the above. So first of all, what is plyometric training? In simple terms, plyometric training is a form of training which is aiming to help you improve your power, so your speed and your strength. Plyometric training helps you to improve your power by getting the athlete, or the goalkeeper in our case, to work on expelling a maximum force in the shortest period of time. It does this by manipulating the stretch shortening cycle of a muscle, which is, sounds a bit complex, but think jumping, sprinting, that is what you work on with plyometric training. Why is this important for goalkeepers? As goalkeepers, we are a power athlete. We're not expected to run 10, 11, 12 kilometers a match. What we are expected to do is very high intensity movements in very short periods of time. Think coming out and taking a cross above defenders and attackers, or moving your feet and exploding into a dive to make a top corner save, or hitting a side volley out to the winger. All of these movements in physical terms are very short but very explosive and dynamic. So therefore a form of training such as plyometrics which works on short dynamic phases of movement will help us to physically enable these actions a lot more efficiently and effectively. My personal experience with plyometric training didn't really start until I went to Loughborough University. Those of you that have been following the vlog for a long time will know that whilst I was at Loughborough University, I was lucky enough to train with Fuzz Khan, who is a high jump coach with British Athletics. Nowadays, as you guys know, plyometrics are a huge part of not only my gym S&C training, but my general week to week training program. I often assign one session a week of solo plyometric training to help me run faster, jump higher and improve my overall athletic ability as a goalkeeper. As a result of this training, I have seen a massive improvement not only in my vertical jump height, which is very important for taking crosses or making top corner saves, but also my sprint speed and also my kicking distance as well. At this point you're probably saying, get on with it Connor, tell us your top three plyometric exercises for goalkeepers, and that's what I'm going to do right now. So my personal top three favourite plyometric exercises for goalkeepers are one, pogo jumps, two, counter movement jump, and three, bounding slash sprinting. So exercise number one, pogo jumps. Pogo jumps are a great exercise for developing that reactive explosiveness. So as you can see from the clip, it's a double leg movement where you're trying to get as much height as you possibly can with the jump, raising your toes as you take off before when you're on your way down, trying to minimize your contact on the floor before you explode back up again. So in simple terms, you're looking for maximum height and minimum time on the ground. Our second exercise is the counter movement jump. With the counter movement jump, you have one movement, one jump, in order to get as high as you possibly can. I normally complete this exercise with my hands on my hips so that I'm not using my arms in order to try and get more height. I'm solely relying on the explosive power of my quads, my glutes, and my lower body. 
So as you can see from the clip, you dip before exploding up as high as you possibly can, bringing your toes up as with the pogo jumps before cushioning the landing and resetting before the next rep. As opposed to the reactive nature of the pogo jump, the counter movement jump is much more explosive. You don't have to worry about taking off immediately when you land, so your full focus is on achieving the maximum height possible with your jump. The benefit for goalkeepers with this type of exercise is evident. If you can increase your vertical jump, if you can jump higher, it will make the movements such as taking crosses or making top corner saves that bit easier. And my final favorite plyometric exercise is a very, very simple one, sprinting and bounding. The benefits of sprinting for all athletes is probably undervalued. It's a very explosive action which will improve your athletic ability in all of the areas of sport. But specifically for goalkeepers, it will not only help you to improve your speed if you're coming out to smother a through ball, for example, it will also translate into helping you be able to jump higher and have general more explosive athletic ability. As you can see from the clips, sprinting exerts near maximum force. And a difference with the other two exercises is it works a single leg at a time. But there are some similar factors, minimizing contact time on the ground and maximum force when exploding out the movement. Bounding is an elongated version of sprinting, still working on single leg to single leg, working on minimum contact time and maximum power output. I've included both of them so that you can change between whichever you prefer, but both are extremely effective methods of improving your power as a goalkeeper. Now this is a very simplified version. I know there are gonna be lots of people that want to do more research into plyometric training, and I would encourage you to do so. It's a very interesting topic with a lot of benefits for goalkeepers in particular. And I would definitely recommend for you to integrate some form of plyometric training into your weekly training routines. You can do that using this video and the exercises that I've shown you. You can also look back at some of my previous videos where I show you the sessions, the plyometric sessions that I do personally or you can follow the link below this video and go and get your own copy of the Goalkeeper Plyometrics program. I'm sure many of you will have heard me talk about it before, but it's a full eight week training program specifically for goalkeepers. You don't need any external equipment except for four cones and a skipping rope. And we've had some incredible stories of people massively improving their jump height and their sprint speed from using the program. So if that's something you'd be interested in, make sure you follow the link below this video. So I hope you guys have found that helpful. I hope it helped to answer any questions you might have about plyometric training for goalkeepers. But as always, make sure you do some more research if you're interested and feel free to ask me any questions down in the comments. This week's patron of the week is Ed Lovett. Ed, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for being a patron. Here is your Keeping Goal shout out. Thank you for watching guys. If you enjoyed today's video, please leave us a like. Really does help us reach as many goalkeepers as we can. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, come and join the Keeping Goals Union and turn on notifications so that you never miss another episode. Thank you very much for watching guys. Keep chasing improvement as always. Have a great week. I'll see you next Sunday, 11 a.m. UK time. Thank you very much for watching and I'll speak to you in a bit. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.